Welcome to VCA Wrestling Lucha Libre. Let's get ready to rumble! champion and tank. Two of the very best here in VCA. They prove it by holding that gold. Junior Beta champion versus heavyweight champion. Kicking things off here on VCA. Daniel going to the outside much like he did last week against Tank's partner Q. Tank sliding to the outside. And Daniel playing these mind games. Sliding in and out. Playing a game of cat and mouse. Daniel let him in. Sykes tank out. Again, going through those mind games. Daniel gonna let him in for real this time. Tank's in the ring. Daniel, square up here. Lock up there, Tank grabs him. Gets him in the headlock. Daniel, pushing against the face. Any, any move he can do to get out of it. And Tank's out here because his partner Q won the Junior Bane of Championship last week, but Daniel won the contest and delivered that steel chair to the ribs of Q is unable to attend here tonight, still suffering from those injuries in the hands of Daniel Miraculous. Wrenched in. I thought Daniel was going to get out of it right there. Thanks still holding on for dear life. Shot there from Daniel Miraculous. Trying to get out of that headlock by any means necessary. Tank out here in the honor of Chicago Kid Q. Chicago Kid Q and Daniel go back to the fatal four-way match. And Q came out and caused Daniel that shot at the heavyweight title. The title that Tank now holds. Maybe Daniel is a little ticked off at Q for stopping for interfering in that fatal four-way match. Oh, Daniel, trying to... You guys can see what Daniel's going for there. Didn't quite get it, trying to get that leg around the, the head of Tank. With a triangle chuck submission, didn't get it though. Tank holding on with a headlock. The free time he's saying no. Showing off that wrestling ability. He's gonna hold that headlock in until the match is over. He's gonna make sure of it. Daniel gets him up, but Tank rolls up out of him. Goes on a tip here, Daniel comes back. Whoa, grabs the close up against the rope. Clothesline misses. Tank comes back. Back elbow misses. Going for that bicycle knee there. Misses him. Right to the head from Daniel Miraculous. 
Dan was really good at those knee strikes straight to the head. He practices every day. There's a big suplex there from Tank. Two count. Daniel more of a brawler and a striker, but can get those wrestling moves in. Been in the business for a long time here, Daniel. A lot of bigger wrestlers here in BCA. If there's a hole in the rest of your business, Daniel knows it. Hang throwing Daniel to the outside. Our right hand shot there to the jaw. Zane walking behind Daniel here. Daniel saying he's sorry, really doubt it. Daniel crawling around the ringside area. Right hand shot there from Tank in the guardrail. Throws Daniel back into the ring. Tank comes in right behind him, going for the cover. Daniel calling for a timeout here. No timeouts in pro wrestling. I'm pretty sure he knows that. Daniel making his pro wrestling debut back in 2011. Nine year pro. Going up against a year and a half of 18 month rookie. And Tank. Daniel. He's not the heavyweight champion right now. Fighting for nine years for that title. And Tank walks in and a year and a half captures the gold. You never see any wrestler in VCA history coming and do that. Tank not only VCA heavyweight champion, the first Grand Slam champion in VCA history. Something no one has ever done before. But Grand Slam, he's held both tag team the junior beta championship and now the BCA heavyweight championship. He's got all the gold available. Sure Daniel wanted to be that first Grand Slam champion. He's had all the other credentials. Now it's not about all that, it's about getting back for his, his brother. Hard right shot there from Daniel Miraculous. Tank down to the ground. A little groggy there is Tank. Tank looks a little out of it, like he doesn't know where he's at. Daniel, quick to remind him. You're in the ring with Daniel Miraculous. Bring him back in the ring. Tank hanging off of that apron. Smashing that chest of Tank across that ring apron, the hardest part of the ring. And the leg drop. Straight across that same chest. What an opening contest. The kind of action we see every week here on VCA. You want to see VCA? We are. Live every Friday night at 8 p.m. 4275 Winchester Road. We'd like to join us on our special event on Friday, October 30th, Saturday, October 31st, Booze and Body Slams, featuring WWE superstar Carlito. We'd like to get tickets for that event. Tickets are $20 for both events. Get your tickets by simply messaging BCA Wrestling on Facebook. Hard splash there from Tank. Right back in the action here. Tank charging back up at Daniel. Another big splash there. Charging in the third time gets Daniel. And I was with Daniel here. Daniel goes to the opposite corner. Tank going in for the fourth time by Daniel. Gets that boot up. Straight across the face. Oh, that bam, it's a tank. He avoids it. Back suplex here. Daniel catches him with that famous sir. 
that he was originally going for. Rolling the body over, Tank going for that cover. Tank gets a leg on the rope, breaking the count. We have already announced that Daniel Miraculous will defend the VCA Junior Bait of Championship against Tank's tag team partner, his own brother, Chicago Kid Q. Who's in body slams. First official matches. Boots on the card there. On October 31st. Got straight there from Daniel coming in with a European uppercut. Oh, by Snapmare. That is right. Orthodox pin, referee unable to see the shoulder, but glad he saw that one shoulder get up. Only a two count there. Daniel and Jake, two of the best wrestlers here in VCA. No one can argue with him there. Both have the goal to prove it. Miraculously, an unorthodox wrestler here. He goes straight to the top. So he got in score. Well, that free elbow gets all of it. Landing hard. And kick out by the heavyweight champ. Landing hard with that froggy elbow. Tang trying to look for an out. Daniel talking trash, kicking the ribs of Tang. A body part of Daniel specifically likes to go after. We saw last week in Chicago Kid Q at Halloween Massacre. Chop there from Daniel. Holding Tank up in the corner. Irish whip here. Tank goes up and over. Daniel crashing the top turnbuckle and a clothesline from Tank. The heavyweight champion might be back at it. Daniel back up. You've seen this combination from Tank before. Knocking the Junior Bay Champion down. Standing sent on there from Tank, going for the cover. It was just a two count, Daniel able to kick out. Listen to the body of Tank off of him. Incredible action here. Start things off here on VCA. Daniel dropping that face cut from the knee. What power slam! From Tank, going for the cover. Daniel still kicking out at two. Tank originally from Wynn, Arkansas. Proud of his family, proud of his heritage. Lifting face buster. Man, not enough. Tank still able to kick out at two. Daniel going underneath the ring here. Daniel. Oh, he's got a street sign. Got a street sign from underneath the ring. I don't know who placed that there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Referee Jerry getting rid of that street sign. What a low blow from Daniel Miraculous. Wait, Tank caught his arm. Tank caught his arm. 
Last shot. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, The Machine. Michael by count out. He was not paying attention to the referee's count. Threw Michael Clark in at the count of nine. Did not step foot in the ring by the count of ten. Then after that, Brooks forced a crown prince on Michael Clark. Michael's former tag team partner. Crown Prince came in there. Michael Clark beat him as well. And it was revealed that Brooks was faking the whole knee injury the entire time. They finally stepped in there. They signed a contract. One on one, Michael Clark versus Brooks. Brooks ended up throwing a fireball into the face of Michael Clark. After Michael told him that he's a Jerry Lawler knockoff. Don't worry about them. They just ain't had dinner yet. Suck is right. Leak taking control here with that side he headlock there. Michael Clark, a former time junior beta champion. Whoa. No matter how many times you win that junior beta championship, Malik still has the experience edge. Over 20 years of experience in the squared circle. So the mic was not even a quarter of the way through yet. In terms of matching experience. We got a headlock locked in tight. Big shoulder block there. Oh, spinning up. Little arm drag there by Michael Clark. Michael down in the pink, black, and white. He needs a red heart. Malik with a heart chop there in the corner. And the Irish whip Michael here. Up and over. Malik catches him. Michael. Michael going for the headsets. Malik holding on to the ropes. Not gonna go out that easily. Another chop there to the chest of Michael. Now, but in the back of the neck there. Come on, Mike, let's go. Michael up, took him on the middle rope. He had a turnbuckle, referee. Fully in sight there. They're gonna hold up the count of four. Little shot there for Michael Clark. Michael holding on the top rope, will he crash and burns to the outside? Brooks getting Malik out of the way. Standing in the center. Michael looking to do a dive there. Spit the face. Jared intervening, knowing the, the temper of Michael Clark. Not that Brooks doesn't deserve every shot he can get. Looks on the outside pad in the back of Malik. Dwayne in there trying to call Michael Clark down. Michael's rightfully PO'd. Wouldn't you be after you get spin in the face? Especially by someone with 
Like Brooks. Legal tag there, not something we're used to seeing with the greatest on earth. Legal tag this time. Dwayne in the ring here with Brooks. Wayne ready to square off here. Wayne got the back of Michael Clark. He's doing my job, Malik. Don't forget what you do. Looks with that headlock there to Dwayne. Dwayne was scheduled to compete against Lil T last week at Halloween Massacre. Lil T unable to attend the event. Went up against Tavis instead, but. Dwayne didn't like what Lil T did to his own cousin, Michael. And since Dwayne's found a new friendship in Michael Clark. Once more, again fails to get Brooks out of that headlock hold. Dwayne stepping on the hamstring of Brooks, reverses it. It's a headlock of his own in. It needs to be as tight as Brooks, I spoke too soon. Brooks already able to get out of it. It's a veteran condition style of Brooks. Over that hip toss. Turns it into, a, into an arm drag there. A giant shoulder tackle there from Dwayne. Goes to the outside. Second to rethink this. Looks trying to make an out-wrestle Dwayne. Elbow drop there misses. Dwayne gets out of the way. Back elbow there from Dwayne. Knocking down Brooks. Brooks on the outside catching a breath. Only his tag team partner down. Having a word with tag team champion partner. Dwayne sees the opportunity. Dwayne coming off the road. Suicide dive. Now. Brooks crashing into my announce table. More into me than anybody else. Two. Throws Brooks back in the center of the ring. Michael Clark sees an opportunity and goes for it. Not the legal man at all, but I get retribution for that fireball shot from last week. Using the foot of Malik as a weapon there.
going back to that chokehold. Brooks is going to announce table. Got that. Got that shark tooth pendant right across the forehead. Going for that, that faux tag there. Spike to the forehead. Nothing's going after it. Mocking Michael there. Trying to intimidate Michael here. We're trying to keep his head in the game, but. Brooks with a shot to the leg there. An attack there from Brooks. Elite the Great, son of Sniper Charlie Parks. Again, 20 plus year veteran here in the third circle. More experience than any other member of the VCA roster. Been in the game for quite some time. I'm trying to get these hands behind his partner. Trying to get Dwayne some energy here to tag in Michael. Malik said bringing Dwayne down the mat. Dwayne reaching for those ropes, but far away he is. Dwayne getting back up on his feet. Shot to the midsection there. A couple shots there, but Malik raking the eyes. Illegal move there. Left kick there. Whoa. Rolling him up. One, two. Only a two. Referee says two. That's what I saw. I saw two. Tag there. From Brooks to Malik. The tag team champions, greatest on earth. Go for the greatest move on earth. Will he get the victory? Michael in there to break things up. As he should, that could have been a three right there. The legs up, splitting the legs in half. Going to tear for that groin. Sinister move there. Now direct contact. Just not disqualification. Wayne so close to tagging in Michael. Michael holding on to that tag. We're trying to get that tag. But Brooks overstaying his welcome in the ring. Jared gets him back into his corner. Tag there. Brooks back in it. Drop to the hold ball by a leg drop there. Greatest on earth proving to be the strongman here, holding Dwayne down. Not letting him get a moment to recover. Dwayne on the opposite side of the ring from where he needs to be. To get to his corner and tag in Michael. Wayne back up on his feet. Looks like a jawbreaker there from Dwayne. That kick to the midsection there from Brooks. Cutting him off. Whoa! Big strike there from Michael in the corner. Game time. Got him with that game time face buster. Dwayne using the ropes as leverage to get himself back up. Again, he sees Michael Clark on the other side and crawl instead. And she's away from tagging in Michael. Looks like tagging the Malik. 
back elbow Malik catches him with a drop kick to the face over the cover going in there to break things up everybody in the ring referee Jared a little closer on who's the legal man here Dude, Michael Clark Malik Michael Clark a handspring that's an offensive maneuver. Shotgun drop kick to Malik, gets him in the corner. Malik's partner is down, and now this is Michael Clark's chance. Where's he gonna go? He's gonna go up to the top rope here. On the top rope. Go for that frog spot. What? Brooks shaking the ropes, knocking the balance on Michael Clark. Crashes and burns on the top rope. Malik back up on his feet. Michael Clark just crash and burn. Wait a minute, he's gonna hit him with that brain buster. Brain buster to Michael Clark. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners, the greatest on earth. That's the assistance from Brooks. Knocking Michael Clark off that top rope. He grabs Michael and do that brain buster. motor but big motor not even budging big motor hard iron slip there the spear to Dwayne big motor and Dwayne will square off at booze and body slams Michael Clark just might be in the wrong place at the wrong time whoa Clark fires every strike he can. A big motor. Clark 
Forms there for Michael Clark coming in. Giant jump and strike there. Big Motor still locked down. Big Motor catches up. That Samoan drop. Michael Clark in the corner. Huge sky high from the big motor. Leaving the carnage in the ring. Shut up! Comes in Clean's house and leaves. These men are born ready. Two of the biggest heavyweights here in BCA locking up here in the main event. Big headlock there from Johnny Ewing. Having the experience that is here on the rookie big motor. Lower tackle there from Johnny Ewing. him there and drops in the body slam. Big clothesline going all the way over. Motor ready for a fight. Uncle Calvin here with his Johnny Ewing. Johnny slides back in the ring, he slides right back out, we're setting the count. There's some extra time here. There's no time out, but... Yeah, 10 seconds to get back into the ring. Johnny Ewing. I come up with any... Any kind of strategy here. Unplanned match. Johnny scheduled to fight Chicago Kid Q. Says Q couldn't make it, but because of the injury, not because he's scared. He's still suffering that injured ribs from the hands of Daniel Miraculous. It's just like he's still chair that Daniel Miraculous used. Bring here, Johnny. Knocks him down with a shoulder tackle. Johnny did not see that coming. Big close line there for Big Motor. Johnny is slowly getting back up. Johnny Ewing usually does for people. Cover there. Using both hands. Johnny Ewing going to the outside. Big motor right behind him. Big club to the back there. For big motor. Kick to the ribs there. Three. Picking Johnny Ewing back up. Going around the ring here. Face first in that ring apron. The motor's not done the outside. Referee's on six. They gotta be careful here. Having his head in that turnbuckle post. Uncle 
go Calvin up on the ring apron, causing distraction. The referee, Big Motor, sees it. Going with a low blow to Big Motor. So Calvin's still on the apron, referee arguing with him. Well, Calvin's still not listening to the referee at all. Staying on the apron. Finally, Uncle Calvin complies. Giant suplex there from Johnny Ewing. Really turned things around since that low blow and the referee was not looking. Stomps there to Big Motor. Stomping away. Johnny Huey now looking down at Big Motor. He did not think it was going to accept this challenge. Ball a minute and back, I bet he wishes it was somebody else. Big slam from Johnny Ewing on the big man, the big motor. Go for that cover there. Johnny caught by surprise there. Only a two count. Henry able to get that shoulder up. Johnny Ewing complaining with the referee. Had an issue with him last week saying it was a fast count. That's why he lost the heavyweight title. I didn't see any fast count. Time might go a little faster when your back's down on the mat. Sure sound like a regular count to me. Irish up there, big motor reverses. Johnny crashes in the corner, followed by a big splash there. Seven. Strikes there in the corner. Johnny Ewing hit with that sidewalk slam. Both these men competed in that Fatal 4-Way Heavyweight Championship match. Johnny Ewing was close to winning. Got rolled up by Tank in a small package. Johnny thought he had reversed it. Got Tank shoulders down. Big Tiny had to come out here and clarify that it wasn't going to be a winner that week, but he scheduled for the Heavyweight Championship match at Halloween Massacre. Last week, Johnny Ewing lost to Tank. Been PO'd on Facebook and all that. Uncle Calvin right in front of me, using that cane on the throat. Right on the throat of Big Motor. The referee distracted by Johnny Ewing. Another strike to the jaw. Calvin throwing Big Motor back into the ring. Johnny Ewing sees him. Go for that cover there. The motor still able to get his shoulder up. Johnny Ewing up on that turn, the bullseye. Doesn't knock him down. So go for it again. Knocking down the big motor. 
Hell, only a two. Now this time, Johnny, you ain't wearing a fast count. That's not how this works. That's a consistent count. Fires up there. Damn it, swinging a miss. Johnny Ewing catches him by the throat. Giving the super hole position. Big motor throwing those elbows backwards in the stomach of Johnny Ewing. Getting out of the hole, but Johnny reapplies it here. Reapplying the sleeper hole, trying to get Big Mother down to his knees, it looks like. Big Mother not looking to fall there. Big clothesline there. Right arm clothesline there to Johnny Ewing. Irish whip here. And drop. Only a two. Johnny able to kick out a two. Devastating Samoan drop from the big motor. Rick Henry telling Johnny Ewing to get up. Johnny, if you get up, look out behind you. Big Motor's gears are turning. Spear. Oh. In the back, here comes Dwayne. Shot to the midsection. Right to the back from Dwayne. Over by disqualification. Rick Henry wins by DQ. But Michael Clark out here to save his partner. Clark hammering away at the back of Johnny Ewing. Clark come on the road. And clothesline there. Johnny Ewing. Johnny lost this match, but to no fault of his own. Wayne saw an opportunity to come out and capitalize on his booze and body slams opponent. Got that torture rack. Uh, from behind here comes Tank. PCA heavyweight champion. Superman punch to Johnny Ewing. Thank you, Spot against Johnny Ewing last week for the BCA heavyweight title.